Good morning, YouTubers. So, today, this morning, I am going to show you guys how I make my coconut custard cake. And this is a family favorite for us. It started out as a vanilla custard cake, and then I got creative, and I didn't have milk one day. <laughs> but I had coconut milk. So I took the coconut milk, used that in replace of regular milk. It turned out amazing. I, I love this. And it has sort of that coconut cream pie taste to it, that, that sweet coconutty, you know, coconut cream pie. Only it does not have flakes of coconut in it. It's only coconut milk. And it's amazing. And you whip it all up, put it in one pan, cook it, and eat it. So that's what I'm going to show you guys this morning is how to make that cake. Super easy. So let's get to it and start baking. All right, in your mixer bowl, you're gonna add one cup of flour, two thirds cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna mix that all together, and you're just gonna set it aside for a minute. In another bowl, you're gonna add one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of melted butter, and three quarter cups of milk. You're gonna mix that all together, then you're gonna put your dry ingredients on your mixer and add all the wet ingredients and mix just until they're combined. All right, so once your cake batter looks like it's all mixed, you're gonna remove it off your mixer and you're gonna scrape down the sides of your bowl. Make sure you scrape all the way to the bottom of the bowl. You wanna make sure all that flour is mixed in. All right, so once that's all mixed, then you're gonna get a pan, a nine by nine inch pan and you're gonna grease it. So I'm just using some Pam in it and you're gonna pour the cake batter into the pan. You're gonna go preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, but you're not gonna put the cake in yet. You're just gonna set it aside. All right, in a pot over the stove, you're gonna add one and a half cups of coconut milk to your pot. Um, just take out one and a half tablespoons of coconut milk and put it in a little bowl and set it aside for a minute. You're also going to add a half a cup of sugar to the coconut milk and you're going to bring this to a simmer. Once it's simmering, you're going to grab that little bowl of coconut milk you just set aside and you're going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch to it. This is how we're going to thicken up our custard. So, you can also add a teaspoon of vanilla, that's optional. I'm adding a little bit of vanilla to it. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm gonna pour this into my coconut milk and the sugar and mix it all in until it thickens up a little bit. Right, you're gonna take that hot coconut milk and you're gonna take it off the stove and you're gonna pour it over top of the cake. Pour it very gently. Be careful, it is very, very hot. You are not going to mix this. You are just pouring it over top, all over the place, however you want. And then we're gonna put it in the oven just how it is. Don't mix your cake and we're gonna bake this for 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. All right, so it's been about 35 minutes this time. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of holes poked into my cake because I've tested it a few times. But this is what it looks like when it comes out. It should be just starting to brown. It is so hot right now that it is, it's not it's not very thick right now, but it has that pudding custard type texture to it. So what I'm going to do is take a little bowl. I'm going to scoop some of it out so that it'll cool. I can also take my pictures of it and I just want to put it in something pretty and then I'm going to eat this. All right, it's all done ready to eat. I put it in a cute little bowl because why not? <laughs> so 
Um, normally this is a vanilla cake and vanilla like custard pudding type with it. But I like changing it up and doing the coconut one. So I already know it tastes fantastic. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's hot, hot. Mm. It is so good and it's a recipe that I just, I love this one and I hope you'll give it a try because it is so good. It's so addictive. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Give it a try. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. And thank you so much for watching today. It's been a really good recipe. Uh, my day is starting off really well with cake for breakfast. <laughs> so that's it for me today. Thank you so much. And I will see you for the next recipe. Oh, and don't forget to check out my podcast. Coming out very soon. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about these recipes and a little bit of the behind the scenes and info about them and whatever else I feel like discussing. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you for my next recipe.